Hey, folks, welcome to Sports Focus. I'm your host, John McNeil. We have Jeffrey McIntosh and Kevin Sibbles. Damn it. All the time. Okay, we're going to start in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia. What I tell y'all about them 76ers? I, like I that told y'all. What's their record? Um, 16 and 27. Last seven. year they won 10 games. I told you they was on the up 20 games, maybe even 30. Maybe even challenge for a playoff spot. Them Sixers. That's until they decide to trade away their first round pick all over oh, again. Okay, Thank man. you. <laughs> <laughs> they have a bad habit of doing that. All the time. I hope not because they have the process, Joel Bead, and uh, they're looking real good. He didn't get the start. In the All Star game, which I'm kind of shocked, but I'm really shocked that Westbrook didn't get the start in the All Star game. I don't know what's going on there, what the politics are, but um, did he make the All Star team? He, he's gonna make the team, but he's the start. How many triple doubles he got this year? This is like the MVP of the league. Yeah, but yeah, he's so it far, is all a popularity vote. Yeah, it looks and like he's not the popular. He's not yeah, a lot he's, of players plays um people don't like him. Yeah, they yeah. think he's selfish. Yeah, they pick they pick Steph and homeboy over him. Steph, to start. who they got to take off the court at the end of the game for defensive purposes. <laughs> Steph, that's Steph. <laughs> that's Steph. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. Yep. I got it. You know. Okay. Now, let's uh, close out the uh, our teams because we have cowboy fan and eagle fan, and I'm a cowboy as well as you can see. Let's start with the Eagles, sir, Mr. Philadelphia Eagle. Uh, any lasting thoughts, comments on your team and the season and the future? Next year. That's all. Now I'm talking ass. Thank wow. you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it going to get me this or was well, it? I can't. I was going to do our team next, so I can't be like that. <laughs> Next year, that's all I got to say. No, they're talking. <laughs> and I hope y'all heard that, too. Now, about those cowboys. What's the civils? My biggest thing is this. We've seen, we've seen, we've seen star people get great first years mm -hmm. to turn second years into absolute disaster. Yes, so... I hold judgment on Dak until I see his second year, his sophomore yeah. performance. Because Russell Wilson had a defense to help him up. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a solid enough defense. Ben although had, Ben Rosberg had the same thing like that. Yeah, yep. we, we're going to see what happens that second year before I say. But I still say it. It'll be stupid to get rid of the man who's been mentoring and, and talking to him to send him elsewhere. Yeah. Because it's going to bite us in the behind. Uh, I sort of feel the same way about uh, Mr. Romo. I hope that he oh. stays. Yeah, got, you got to trim his contract down. Well, um, because y'all about to restart Martin. Well, they done they done trimmed it enough. I don't know what else. Uh, My thing is, like I said before, that's that contract was hazard pay. All yeah. those years of being abused, like he was, and he always let um um renegotiate his contract when where needed to be resigned and all those other. What if contracts that he wanted, he always scaled down. Okay. This time, like Demarcus Ware. Speaking on Ware, hey, me. Speaking on Demarcus Ware, he's a free agent. Any thoughts of him coming back to Dallas? Well, whatever. He already has a ring, so he can go wherever he wants. But it'll be he can still play, he and like, he he would obviously be their best pass rusher. Yes. Even at this stage of his career. But we noticed that he thrives better in the three four than the four three. Well. That's, that's the only catch. My thoughts on the Dallas Cowboys is uh, the future is bright. Um, like you said, I agree with you on let's see how the second year is. Is the team going to build up? Are they going to build that defense? Because they obviously their offense is set, I yep. would say, pretty much. Mm -hmm. But they have to build up that defense. So what happened to them in Green Bay doesn't happen anymore because right. you can't be getting down 21-3 to three and, and got to fight your way back. And then you got Aaron Rodgers. That enough. Maybe if they was playing a Russell Wilson or because their team is a little different than Aaron Rodgers. Right. But still, you can't do that with Aaron Rodgers. And 
I hope certain quarterback can't. Yeah, do that. certain quarterbacks you yeah. cannot mess around and get behind and all that other stuff. And the biggest thing is, I'm hoping that they don't make Dak so predictable like they did for most of the year. Yeah, that cut down stuff and everything else. Let him throw deep. Let him Let be him a deep. quarterback. Yeah, stop holding. So back. hopefully everything works out for our team. My Cowboys, Zeke. The freak, let him be, let him do his thing. Oh, he's going to do his thing next year. Let he him do his thing. They got three year. all pros on that line. Lyle Collins is coming back. So everything looks good for them. Build up the defense, and they're going to be just fine. Now, let's move on to. <laughs> yeah, that's two almost. <laughs> let's move on back at him. <laughs> to the great Matty Ice and the. Awesomely great Aaron Rodgers. Wow. Uh, who y'all think with these numbers here is the MVP? Because I, I feel like it's really down to two players. Aaron Rodgers. And you notice how, remember how we were talking, Dak, Dak, Z, Z. You notice how they just sort of faded out. Yes. But I will go with Aaron Rodgers and Matt Ryan. Who y'all got? I don't think either one I'm going to get it. Because they love Mr. Brady too much. And they're going to say, he came back after a full five-game suspension and only lost mm -hmm. one game. Yeah. You say Brady. That's what they're going to say. That's what they're going to say. I'm, I'm saying. I, say, I like I'm, I'm going to go with Matt Ryan. I like Matty Ice, but I like the way Rodgers brought his team back oh, from yeah. the grave. Oh, I yeah. think that's the biggest. That, injuries. It, uh, yes. The injuries. The, personal all life. All that stuff. Personal life was, yeah. was affected, you know, earlier. Yes. Um, yeah. But I'm going to go with Matty, Matt. Matt Ryan. I just think, um, uh, especially what he's done. I know the playoffs don't count, <laughs> but we all saw what he did against Seattle and Green Bay. It was he was due. And uh, hey. like Parcells said, you've been in the league long enough, you should know what you're doing. That's right. It was in 2012. There was a championship game. Mm -hmm. It took a few years for them to get back. That Atlanta team looks fierce. We are. Can let's we get a defense. Get, let's get nice. up in the championship game itself. A little, just a little talk. Um, didn't the Falcons look like broke. the best team in the whole league? Yeah, because you know what they did? They attacked that defense and wasn't afraid to throw that ball around. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the key to beating them. It helps when you have number 11 who basically just, like, slapped the whole Green Bay secondary en route to a 75-yard touchdown, too. And, and oh, don't forget number out. 12 who kept him at bay mm -hmm. until number 11 started getting the ball like he wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm real surprised, and I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm That's going to be an interesting game. And that was the last game in the Georgia Dome. Yes. So that just made it even sweeter. AFC championship game, the <sighs> Patriots and the Steelers, the fake Steelers. I guess, you know, what Facebook Live would do to you, Antonio. Hopefully. He did get a six-figure, I guess, deal. No, they, they sitting there talking about him. They, they want to give him a six-figure deal. They want to give a six-figure deal. Because they're talking about rumors that two things. One... Ben Roethlisberger talking about his retirement. Mm -hmm. He's speculating that. Plus, they're talking about moving on Antonio Brown because that's what he did. Plus, they, he's thinking you know, about about his stats. Crap. Yeah, the Rooney's don't play, but they already slapped him with a ten thousand dollar fine because of that Facebook that video, live, that Facebook incident. live with a ten thousand dollar fine. I was like, that's a lot of money. That's a nice chunk. That isn't that? Oh, that's for that's a video. A good, that's a good portion of their playoff check. Yeah, that's for a video. Yeah, ten whole thousand dollars. Um. <laughs> Well, yeah, we, we talked Ooh. about that, you know, as far as uh, that Facebook Live thing. And uh, the Steelers didn't look like the Steelers. I know uh, Bell, he got hurt. Mm -hmm. But they still had Angel Williams. That's and like the best backup was, in the league right there. He was still pounding, though. He was, they were still doing it. And as far as Ben thinking about retiring, who knows? I mean, he's, he's, he's getting up age. He's getting up there. Uh, he got, what, two Super Bowls? Yes, yeah. he do. What else can he do? I'm yeah, all for it. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. I'd say he's a... Yeah. I, I think he'll hold on for one more year until they get his replacement to yeah. take over. But they got Landry. Like no. I said, they'll probably hold no. on until, he, <laughs> until no. they get somebody to replace him. But I have a feeling he'll sign again. I think he just need time to step away. Yeah, I think this, this loss was bad taste in his mouth. Because there was a lot of questionable calls. Yeah. And, and it was a questionable call. Chris Hogan who had a career uh, game in the championship game, what, nine, ten catches for 180 yards, a mm -hmm. couple of touchdowns. Oh, yeah. 
Well, you know, Belichick always have a person up his sleeve, and there's always one person you least expect to step out. Yeah. There you go. But it's going to be interesting because Belichick likes to take away your your number one target. So if he takes um if he takes out Julio Jones, who's going to stop Sanu? Gabriel. Who's going to stop Gabriel? Who's going to stop Tevin Coleman, who's also an excellent receiver coming out the backfield? So there's too many targets for him it's, to have to worry about. It's not as one-dimensional. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be interesting. But you're not going to really take um Julio out because... You have they move them. Julio around. Yes. So, like, you know, unlike Dallas, Dallas, like, leave Dez. Okay, Dez, stay here. No, they move Julio all they over the place. Dez so get, in. get into the slot every once in a while. depends on the package, and sometimes he just switches in. Yeah, yeah. But they do that as a decoy. They leave the underneath stuff open for Terrence mm -hmm. Williams, um, Beasley, Cole Beasley, Beasley yeah. and, and Witten. Beasley, Beasley. Now, I want to speak on the Patriots. Patriots. You, know, you can say whatever you want. Their ninth Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, six straight conference championship game, which is also a record. Ninth, I mean, it's, it's, it just goes on and on. You know, if you look at the Patriots, the most important thing I see they do, they find gems from other team, that team, the Scar. I remember Wells Welker played against the Patriots. He was burning them. Miami let him go. What did the Patriots do? Sign him. Chris Hogan. Same thing. Now, like I said, one person I know, especially I was pissed about, yeah, I know, is Eric Rowe. Philadelphia gave him up for a fourth round draft pick. Really? Mm. Uh, the Patriots know The, the biggest did. thing is, and I say it all the time, the best thing that ever happened to him, them, was the downfall of Peyton and him finally retiring. Because he always found a way to eke something out of him to make him lose. The best thing was they got home for the advantage to play Pittsburgh. I think if Pittsburgh would have played in Pittsburgh, the whole outcome would have been entirely different. Yeah. And if you the think Texans, you're saying Pittsburgh would have won that game? Yes, or? they would have. And if the Texans had a solid quarterback, although he gave them hell, they would have lost in the first round. They had their divisional. Round. But that's that's the Patriots as we know them. Mm -hmm. The whole their whole this whole dynasty thing has been they haven't won a Super Bowl. They haven't blown anybody out. Never they been. barely win these these Super Bowls. It's amazing to me that a team that dominant in this uh, era, they squeak out these victories. It's well, the biggest thing is because they're going against NFC. Tom Brady wouldn't survive in the NFC. He wouldn't be as great if he was in the NFC because those defenses would kill him. He wouldn't do even do too well in the AFC North if he had to face Pittsburgh and the Ravens twice a year. So yeah. that division, who is he playing? Buffalo. Jets. Yeah. The Buffalo been haven't been relevant since the 90s. And the, the Jets. Dolphins. Jets. Just coming up. Yeah. They're coming up. Slowly but surely. But they took a step back when Rex left. Yeah. And then you have Miami who up and down and up and down and up and down and get into the playoffs and then they become East Hartford High. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, I look at the Patriots as this band right here. Bill Belichick. Uh, took Tom Landry's system and just totally pimped it out. Yes. And because what you Patriots fans need to understand, this is Tom Landry. What you're doing and what you're seeing right now is basically what Tom Landry did in the right. 70s. Started in the 60s, the late 60s, went into the 70s, and, and started breaking down in, in the, the 80s. mid 80s, and then it. But he did over 20 years of consecutive winning Wins. seasons. That's right. He got a couple of Super Bowls out of it. Had to play the Steelers to do it. I mean, they lost, but, I mean, well, Steelers Roger, were the Steelers. Roger Starbuck said it best when he was retiring. Trust the man in the funny hat and trust the system because the system works. And that's exactly what they Belichick do in the England. Belichick is doing. That's, and that's the man. I wanna, want y'all to see that because it's very true. Now, next episode is going to be, they has got the Super Bowl 51. And the next show is going to be the trivia game again. Oh, we geez. might have a prize. Yeah, turkey wings. Turkey <laughs> neck. <laughs> How about some good old turkey butt? Oh, good guy. <laughs> Who's in the turkey? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So we're going to have some fun in the next show. So see y'all. Peace. <laughs>